Hi, welcome to Hard Freeze the Info channel to viewers. In front of me HP Fort Smart 5520 and now I'm gonna show you how to connect this printer to your smartphone and how to print using your smartphone. So first of course you need to download the HP Smart application on your device. If you have an iPhone uh, you can uh, you can install the application using the App Store. If you have the Android device, you need to download it from the Play Store. Then, uh, here you will see the uh, plus button, add printer button uh, on the right top corner. So click on it. And then it will ask you, choose type of printer to add to HP Smart. Set up a new printer or finish setup to or add a printer that's already set up. So, um, first thing to try the first way, if it will detect your printer. So, so good, it's okay. And uh, you need to do it in this way, but it, it will, if it will not, so you will need to try the second way. So, uh, the very important thing I need to say uh, your printer must be connected to the same Wi-Fi network that your smartphone is connected. So, as you can see now on in the second, as you can see, incomplete now, my printer is detectable. But uh, using the first mode, set up as new device, it wasn't detectable. So, uh, as you can see here, I have for the Smart 5520 series, click on it and printer will successfully add. Uh, so, uh, your printer must be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Uh, how to check uh, to which Wi-Fi network your printer is connected? To do it, you need to click on the settings button and here find wireless. And here as you can see my wireless is connected, uh, is enabled and if you see your IP address here it means that you are connected to the Wi-Fi network. If your Wi-Fi button is constantly lighting with blue color, it means that your printer is connected to the Wi-Fi network. Uh, to check to which Wi-Fi network uh, your printer connected, uh, you need to click print Wi-Fi report and wait a while. And here here you will see the name of the network your printer is connected, right here. And if it's the same Wi-Fi network, so your HP Smart will detect your printer on the first and on the second uh, way. Uh, and it's cool. And now as you can see my printer is connected. Here I can check all information. Here I can set up my printer in the way I want. I can rename it. I can do other things too um, and I can print something so I can print what I want I can scan documents using my camera and send it to my printer I can copy something I can print documents I can print photos too for example uh, to print a photo uh, we need to click uh, print so for example we need to click on this button print uh, view and print then you need to click album, so I need to choose my photo, for example. Uh, but I need to find it firstly. So, great, then choose the photo you want to print. And just click printer preview. And here you need to choose the settings, for example. Type of paper you want to print, A4 or another type of the paper. Uh, then... Uh, printer quality, normal or best. Go back. Uh, color options. So color, grayscale or black only. And then connected to the internet. Okay. And then just click print. I don't know why, but my printer lost connection maybe oh no it's printing so okay as you can see here right here on my device I can see the status of printing
there was a problem connecting to the server. Touch retry to reconnect again. So click OK. I will show you how to uh, fix this problem. Okay, cool. So job was extremely good. And maybe that's it. And now I'm going to show you just how to fix the problem when your printer can't connect to the server. So it's very easy to do. Uh, so uh, firstly, we need to ch change. So maybe, maybe I don't know how to do it right now, you know. Uh, but the problem may be in the point that we have uh, not true date and time. So if you will change it. So right now I, I really don't know how to do it. Uh, maybe I need to I need to check it later. So uh, if you will change date and time and device, maybe we have this video already in our channel, so you can check it. Um, so if you will change date and time and true date and time, your printer will be able to connect to the server. That's it. Thanks for watching, like this video, subscribe to the our channel, and bye, see you. Okay, maybe it will be better if you will connect to the true country. Okay, so thanks for watching again, see you, and bye.